fetch him. Tell her it gave her exactly two minutes to come down here. Until you interrupted with that annoying knock. Oh, I'm sorry, my princess. But the king invites you for breakfast and he's waiting with the rest. Then they should eat without me. No, my princess. I was asked to come get you, so I, I can't go back there without bringing you. Are you going to carry me there or force me there? Please, my princess. I haven't taken my bath yet, as you can see. The king gave you just two minutes to join them at the dining. Unless you want to disobey the king. So, what's it going to be? Why don't you just let me give you a warm bath immediately? And what are you waiting for? Take me to the bathroom already. Okay. You shall remain standing for breakfast this morning since you said to come in late. My princess! Thanks for breakfast, father. You really want to do this? I am sure. And there's no going back this time. The king of the Zodo Kingdom must die today. That's it. I'm sending her out of this palace immediately. I can't brook her insolence anymore. You can't send her out of this palace. She's your daughter. That's your blood. I don't care. Alright, I've told you her quick character ever since her mother died, and you know I'm patient with her. Of course I know that, Edward, but she's just a child. Why does she keep blaming me for her mother's death? I did everything for Rosie before she died. God knows I tried. I tried! I know! But Edward, she is just a child. She would need time to get over this, okay? You just need to be patient with her, please. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it. Last night, and my drama teacher isn't here yet. I don't think he'll still come today. Of course, he'll come. Or Dad will be happy with him. Kara is beginning to annoy me. And trust me, she's sad. Oh, be sad. I hate the way she behaves. I don't even know why Dad prefers doing this drama with her. The story is about her mother, and she needs to be in it. My annoyance is with her drama teacher. He's always late. How did you find out? 
as Munda. I said, cancel the operation. No! This is my chance and I am taking it. Nothing is going to stop me. Are you sure you want to do this? Martens! Martens! Stand down on this mount! Else you will regret it for the rest of your life. Alright. I'm glad I have your attention now. We have a lot to talk about. What? We stand down. We stand down. We stand down. We stand down. Let's talk. It's been eight years since your mother passed away. And here you are, still wallowing in self pity and self denial. What a shame. The world has moved on. And I have moved on too. Because there's nothing I could have done to bring her back. And that's why I got another wife, so that you'd be alone in this big palace. I don't know what has been missing you up, and you refuse to tell me. But I urge you to please participate in this drama of how I met your mother, which we're going to perform before the villagers on the seventh day of her death. The drama teacher is here, and if you care and respect your mother's spirit, then you join your sisters and I at the rehearsal room. So stand out up there, yeah? Just like that! Yes? You didn't tell him? You didn't tell him? You didn't tell him? He just suddenly walks in here and told me to stand down! Eh? Can you be a little more constructive with your repeated lies and excuses? I am sorry, Your Highness. Say I am sorry one more time and you'll be unemployed. I'm taking the drama very seriously. Are you? Yes, my dear. Then prove that to me with your punctuality from tomorrow henceforth. Settled. Settled, Your Highness. <coughs> so let's be. Um, where is the Princess Karen? I don't think she's coming. Let's start. Remember, this is not opera or some kind of talk show. It's bringing the past to the present, revealing how it all started with the king and his first love. So you put yourself in the character and the people feel, or the young 
Prince felt before he got his first love. His first and his only love. Kara, Kara, let's not do this here, please. Okay. You're me for the theatrics, and this is the only way it's gonna happen. I will act with you and only you on that stage, and that's the way it's only gonna make sense to me. Kara, 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 please. No, not to surprise you because that we should act on the same stage with that sports brat. Hey, is your help, okay? Gosh, she's so sports. I wonder why dad tolerates her excesses. Gosh, she's our big sister. Big sister, my foot. She, I mean, she's so childish and impish for my liking. I hate her. Don't interpret her character. She'll change, don't you think so? How can she change when she can't even appreciate our effort of making her late mother's eight years remembrance a spectacular one? Look, if she doesn't want us to act, fine. But that's not what dad wants. At this moment, I don't care anymore what dad wants. I'm tired of her feeling so special all the time. I'm fine. What? Wait, is this a joke or something? Why don't we forget about the drama? Let's forget about Never. Sabino, stop and know his options, all right? It's not going to work. It's her mother and she ought to be in there. Why would you do this one thing ask of her? Take it easy on yourself, your highness. She's only a child. Okay, maybe we should... Before you annoy me with your next statement, all right? You do whatever it takes to put her in that drama. Are you listening to me? Your highness, I... I should I find someone to do the job? I can replace you. I'm going out. Okay, here we go. I had to see my brother, but I'll be back before you know it. Is everything alright? <clears throat> Get the you job done. I, I, I was trying. Get the job done. going to look after you in the palace and I intend to keep that promise 
You, my princess, are not making things easy for me by shutting me out of your life. I want to come in. I want to know what is bothering you. You know, every time I look into your eyes, all I see is a set of sad eyes. Please, talk to me as a friend. Please. He didn't show my mom enough love, cause she wouldn't have died. He tried his best. Stop defending him. You asked to come in and this is me letting you in. I hate my father for what he did. He cared less about my mom while she was sick. He was busy thinking of taking up another wife. Oh no, my princess. He got married after your mom passed on. How long was it? Was it even up to a year? You don't understand, my princess. I mean, it is not easy for a man like him to stay without a wife. He's a king. If he truly loved my mom like you were meant to believe, why didn't he wait before taking up another wife? He celebrates her remembrance every year. Do you know how much that costs him? That's to show that she's still in his heart. Oh, I get it. You don't want sisters. Right? Exactly. I don't. I don't want sisters. I didn't ask for it, but he has already made the decision. And for that reason, I hate my father. Oh no, my princess. Don't hate him. Okay? So, Osmond has decided to take down my husband. I think it's time to get my husband and the police involved. Leave the police and your husband as a place. Martins, do you know what would have happened if Osman had succeeded with his plan? I would be agreed of my now. Would I stop that from happening? I think it's high time you had a chat with Osman. Had a chat with Osman? There's nothing to say to that man if not go straight to hell. Let me talk to him first. You can't obviously get rid of someone like Osman. You have to be very careful, Cease. And I don't want your husband to be part of this or to be involved in this. Oh, so I'm supposed to sit down, hold my arms, and watch my husband get murdered. Is that what you're saying? Just be calm. Like I said, let me talk to him first. Then you will talk to him. What did you tell her to do? I don't understand. Answer me! 
What did you ask her to do in my bedroom? Father, please let her go, please. Now you listen to me. This is your chance to tell me exactly what you're doing through my wife's things. I'm sorry, Your Highness. I was just acting at the pleasure of a princess. Please forgive me, I'm sorry. What were you looking for? Charm or any magical thing that made me forget about my mom so quickly that she went to settle for another wife. I sent her on that raid. So you think my wife used charm on me? How petty are you with your thoughts? Now listen to me. You would leave this palace immediately. Your services are no longer required. I thought you refused to that order. I was just doing it to please you, my princess. Now I've lost my job. I've lost everything. Excuse me, my princess. Don't pack my face. <laughs> I guess you were expecting this visit. I hope you locked that door. Of course I did. I received your package. You should have killed I am a captain of my own ship. I don't see it with snitches and bitches. He got what he deserved. Now you have my attention. Let's talk. Oh, Queen, you're back. Why is your brother summoning you? Like, what's the emergency? I think we still have an arsenal problem. What? I thought we buried that after he got settled. Well, he's making a fresh demand, but I'll get the details later. Wait, what are you doing? I'm putting an end to this once and for all. All right, I'm tired of his threats and his affronts. I am a king. I should be threatened by nobody. Are you out of your mind? He knows our secret and you're willing to risk it all? I don't care, all right? This ends now. I will not allow you to destroy us. Give me that phone. Yeah. My queen. Esther. Honey. Greetings, my princess. Greetings. Um, my princess, I would like to have a word with you. In private. Leave us. What is it? My princess, I, I came to ask you if you have any message you would want me to deliver to you. Mother, in the afterworld. <laughs> and what is the meaning of that? Because this is where I'm going to. Yes! I am going to die and meet her dear. If you refuse, if you refuse to participate in this drama your father is organizing for your late mother's remembrance now, eh, please. Eh, he has threatened me. He has threatened me enough. I don't think he's going to spare my life this time around. Please spare me. Help me participate, please. Thank you. Cause your heart and lick your lollipop. Hold your cheeks and never let it go. Tick tac toe, tick tac toe, tick tac toe, tick tac toe. Ah! Tick tac toe, tick tac toe. My princess, forgive my intrusion, but you have to come with me immediately. Why? Something bad has happened to your mother, the queen. Mother? Yes. Dad, is she gonna be alright? Yes, my love, she's gonna be fine, okay? 
Gina, why are you crying? I don't want anything to happen to my mother. Nothing is going to happen to her, okay? Look, we all need to be strong. The doctor says she's going to be fine. We just have to wait for her to wake up. Dad, what really happened to her? It was an accident. Your Highness, I think that would be all for now. She will be awake any moment from now. They shouldn't be allowed to get off the bed here. I'll come back later in the day to see her. I'll take my leave now. She's awake. My queen, you're awake, thank God. How are you feeling? Wait, what happened? It was an accident, okay? Did you make that call? No, no I didn't. What call are you talking about? Is everything all right, Father? Everything's fine. Your stepmom had a little accident, but she'll be all right. Where is she? I'll go see her. No, no, no. She's she's resting. I almost lost her. Like I lost your mom. I decided to take part in the drama, as long as you don't fire Chairman the chief maid. So what's it gonna be? Go ahead and give her the remote. We can watch anything, right? Right. Here, you can have the remote. We're not gonna drag it with you. You can keep it. I'm not in the mood. Besides, why can't I watch what you watch? I just got off the bedroom after seeing your mother, and I pray she gets better. Sorry once again for your mother's death. And we clearly understand if you don't want us to be a part of the drama. I mean, you must be wishing for her to be alive. Yeah, I wish that every day. But I just have to move on. And it's going to be very difficult. I didn't understand your pain until today that our mother almost died. I don't think our lives would have been the same if she had died. Sorry. Maybe we should share our mother with her. Yeah, maybe. But hey, sisters, I'm sorry not wanting you being part of the drama. But you're welcome to act alongside my dad and I. Greetings, my princess. Greetings, my princess. Leave us. What are you doing? I'm leaving the palace, my, my princess, before your father meets me here. You're going nowhere. But my princess... I said you're going nowhere. Pretend you think to the wardrobe and that and other. Yes, my princess. I spoke to my father about you, by the way. Your Highness, we received news about our Queen. So how is she? Now? She's well. She's well. It was a little accident, uh, but um, she's even the one that prepared breakfast for me this morning. Praise be to the gods that she's okay now. That is very interesting. Please extend our greetings to her. 
She'll hear. She'll hear. I would have called her out, but um, she's sleeping. You know, the drug she's taking is making her drowsy. Oh, sorry. So, how are the preparations coming? Oh, um, yes, you're hiding next. A committee has been set up for the preparations, and it has been so far so good. Even the dancers are in high spirit. <laughs> the most great, too. Fantastic. Your Majesty, we have also set every preparation in motion to make sure we have enough food and drinks and whatever will make the merriment come off. <laughs> That's great. That's, That's great. Because I have huge plans for that. Good. You know. And for the first time ever, I'm going to dramatize for the villagers on how I met my late wife. Mm. Huh? It's going to be great. <laughs> wonderful when I watch it. And that is why you are here. <laughs> yeah, um. no, the, 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 the story will uh, permeate to the unmarried the beauty of finding the right one. It's going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be great. Go ahead and do all that, Your Majesty. And I'm solidly behind you. Sorry, okay? I'm sorry I pushed you to the wall. I'm sorry I hurt you. Well, it's not over yet with us and Osmond. I know. I know. Th that's why I wanted us to kill him so that he can, he can die with our secret. I know. A man like Osmond has securities lying around in case he's dead. Kill him or not, either ways. We're screwed if we don't do his bidding. So what do you propose? Well, I was about getting to that until you hurt me. You will take the character Amaka while you take the character Onye. But I took the character of Onye. Why give it to Lucy? I don't even like Amaka. Oh, oh, my princess. We are trying to get the best out of this. You see, I'm properly testing the waters to know the best role for each and every one of you. Mm, is my role as the chosen wife of the king contestable? Because I can relinquish it for another role. Oh, no, 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 no. My princess, that is the perfect role for you. As a matter of fact, it was chosen by the king for you. All right? Okay. I'll try this Amaka's character and see if it fits. Otherwise, I'll go back to me. Good. So, let's start. Without him? Are you seriously going to start Riyasu without my father? Seriously? Sorry, I'm late, girls. You're going to be fine for that. <laughs> Accept it. Your Highness. How are you? Well, the king has some issues to take care of in the kingdom, okay? So I'll not be part of rehearsals today. Yeah. So I'm going to take over. Should I tell her? We'll hide, we're all sisters. What is it? What are you two hiding? We think our parents are keeping a secret from us. How? Based on the conversation they had while our mom was recovering from accident. Look at who we have here. The highly exalted queen of Izudu kingdom in flesh and blood. You know, Edward has done a great job on your sweet buddy, honey. You will not address my husband, the king, by his first name. <laughs> I should call him the king. <laughs> that, that's so ridiculous. As long you asked for this meeting, don't waste my time. You know, I really never liked you. You're a king, Joey. Oh, my, my bad. Please, have a seat. I'll rather uh, stand. What is it? Okay, I should get you a drink, something to Osmond, chill. Osmond, spew out the amount, and I'll have my husband write another check for you. You think this is about me? Oh, yes, it is. And it has always been. Well, this time around, you're wrong. I know you will not like what I'm about to say, but um, 
I have decided on it, and that's exactly what I want. Uh, my princess, the table is set. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, um, do you think my parents keep secrets? Of course, every king has secrets which they share with their wives or by themselves alone. I mean, in the course of leading his people. It's not easy for any king to function without secrets. Calling it war secrets or... I'm not talking about secrets like that. Then what are you talking about and why do you think they keep secrets? I don't know. Call it a hunch. But I really think they keep secrets. And in fact, my sisters do think too. So what kind of secrets do you think they keep? Hmm. I don't know, my princess. Find out. Princess. That's what I want you to do for me. Find out. Or don't you appreciate me giving you back a job? Go find out. Madness, that will never happen. Edward, listen to No, me. there's nothing to listen to, all right? What he's asking for is insane. He living in this palace here with us is not insane. In fact, it will actually enable us to keep an eye on him. What's so wrong with that? Everything is wrong with that. Everything! And you should never have accepted his request. Well, I told him I'd speak with you first. Well, you better tell him I said no. Edward! No! anything. Are you seriously saying that? I thought as much. Look, it's just a little favor, okay? Choma, it's always a little favor. But you don't care about how I feel. Oh, Edwin, please, let's not do this now. I know you were going to say just that. Choma, I am not hungry. Edwin. Yeah. Please. Please. So, what do you want? You know, uh, you're close to the king. I want information. I want information about the king and his wife. What information? I want a clean job. Make it look like a suicide. Got it. How soon do you want to go? Very soon. As soon as possible. Let me get his picture. Excuse me. Hello, sis. It off. Why? Listen up, six. The king refused, and there's no point trying again because he's not going to listen to that crazy demand. What are you saying? Fine. It's all right. I've heard. Fine. Change of plans. I'm going to pay you for your time anyway. Your Highness. 
There has been agitations and protests making round the entire kingdom about the unwise way you have been spending from the palace cover. The people are not happy at all. They are not happy about this. You need to call them together. Tell them you directly spend from your pocket. Because I hate the profanities they spew about your administration. Your Majesty, are you listening to me? Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? Uh, I, I, I mean, I am saying that uh, you I'll, should. I'll, I'll, I'll address it. I'll, I'll address the people. I will. That's a good one. Eh? It's a good one. But Your Majesty, you have to prepare a statement so that you will not make this. Don't need a prepared or rehearsed statement. I am the king, and my word is authority. I will tell the people exactly what I want them to hear, and put an end to this unfounded speculations or statements or whatever. What, Your Majesty? I am tired. I know. Can we pick this up in the morning? So, uh, my princess, what I was able to gather from the guards is just war secrets and some petty secrets that would be of no interest to you. No, you have to dig deeper because so far you've got nothing. Yes, I know my princess, but you still haven't told me why you're doing all this. My sister said they heard my father and his wife. They said something while making a phone call. And I don't think they're comfortable. So, I mean, something has to explain their strange behaviors. I mean, they've been shutting me and my sisters out. I need you to find out what they've been hiding. Okay. I'll, I'll try again, my princess. I hope I get something concrete this time around. Um, apologies for the stress though. Anything to make my princess happy. I just want you to be happy. Just, you know, put a smile on your face. Just like you're doing now. You're smiling. All right, my princess, I will just get down to work and do my detective research. Yeah. A meal is served. Let's go and eat. I'm not hungry. My husband. I said I'm not in the mood. The kids are already waiting. They can't eat without me, can't they? Sweetie, don't make this harder than it already is. My queen. There is no way I'm allowing a stranger to work in this palace. It's not going to happen. Well, he'll make good on that threat, and you know what the result would be. Edward, let's just allow him work here. So he can be close to you. Is that the plan? Oh, come on. I already told you that whatever happened between the two of us is in the past. Please, let's just give in to his demand one last time, okay? All right. Tell me, what position am I supposed to give him? Hmm? My errand boy? My personal assistant? My git man? My maid? What am I supposed to give a man like him in this palace? Please tell me. Also.
Osmonda. So you're behind us. Osmond, I will deal with you. I will so deal with you, Osmond. I will so deal with you. <laughs> if I were you, I will take care of that cops in your apartment before the police get there. You know, I just reported an assault going on in your apartment not too long ago, so good luck escaping the prison. <laughs> Bastard! Osmond, I will deal with you. I will so rip. Inquiring you know, from the king the reason for his strange behaviors? How? How will I ask the king such? I mean, he's above my pay grade. Do you want to put me in trouble? Oh, no, I'm just saying, you know, as his close ally, he should be able to confide you with some of his secrets. Excuse me. Why are you so interested in the king's secrets? Did he ask you to test me? Oh, no, not at all. I mean, why would you even say that? I don't know. Who knows? baby <laughs> why don't you come and visit me tomorrow I will not be going to the palace for anything hmm. no thanks I am not coming why why are you doing this to me why eh? you always promised to visit me but you never did now you don't even want to promise anymore of course that's because I am tired of making promises I can't keep what's wrong with you What's wrong with you? Nothing. Would you want to get married? Do you want to remain a palace maid forever? <coughs> Sabinus, please. Huh? Let's discuss this some other time, okay? You shine away from the truth. Uh -huh. Wow. Aren't you a lucky bitch? Uh, you will not insult me in this palace. I am a queen, and you will refrain from using such a word to address me in the future. I'm sorry. My bad. I'm sorry about that. A queen. I'll fetch my husband. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. I mean, Georgia State is a nice and safe state to do your youth service. You are the first person who has said this to me. But there's no rejoicing yet, since my call-up letter is yet to be given. So I'll just keep my fingers crossed. You've already paid someone who is in charge of posting coppers in the whole federation, so you have nothing to worry about. Delta is a sure place for you once the call-up letters are out. But I'm not happy. I wish you're going with me, Chooks. Does that answer, Chooks? Probably. Yes. I think his real name is King... Edward Chooks Obuano. But why don't you speak with your people to raise money so you can pay and be posted to the state of your choice? They can't help me. In fact, they're the last people I am to approach now for help because they've exhausted their savings seeing through my final year examination at the university. I understand. So what are you going to do now? They should post me to the knot. I don't care if I die there. God forbid, my dear. Nothing will happen to you. I think this is the part where I hug you. Touching. Why would I beg for money? I thought he's a prince. Lucy, you've not finished the story yet. Dad never revealed his true identity in his university days until, I think, after his youth service. I'm so glad he later did his youth service with together with his friend, who turned out to be my mom. I feel like going shopping. Who's with me on this? Take your face cap off. 
achieve what? You were before a king. And the last time I checked, you didn't hold any position in the palace, so take your face cap off. Oh, but I will soon hold a position, so why are you insisting I take my cap off? Do you want me to call the guards and have them arrest you for insolence? Please, can we continue with this discussion and stop this childish show of power? It doesn't suit you. I am not doing this with him. Please, Let's ignore his character and continue with the discussion. Osmond, please continue. I believe you've told him what I want, but to uh, make my demands clear, I, I'd like to remind you, Your Highness, that... Um, After much thought of your demands, I have decided that I'm going to make you my personal driver. A driver? Yes. No. No what? But I refuse to be used as an ordinary driver. Now you listen to me, boy king. I deserve a seat in your administration. A, a recognizable position. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm talking about being your right hand man on the throne. Something like, um, yes, a personal advisor to you. Is this a joke? Is this, is this what you brought me to discuss? Really? A joke? Yes? Wait, wait. Very good. Your Majesty. Are, are you insane? Have you lost your manners? Get the hell out of my way! your guards. Speak to them because I will not be insulted the next time I will come to this palace. I'm sorry, they are only following orders. Speak to them. Unless you don't want me to be coming to visit you. I will. And why are you so worked up? Uh, is, he, is he here? I mean, Osmond. No, he's not here. He went out not long ago. After making a crazy demand of wanting to be my husband's personal advisor. I hope the king agreed to that. Of course not. How would he agree to such a thing? He's not even happy with me and hasn't spoken to me since. Listen, sis. You have to convince the king. Osman is very dangerous and has gone wacko. At least for the king's safety and yours too. Wait, are you afraid of Osmond? Yes, I am. Because he has threatened me way beyond my imagination. You have to talk to the king, your husband. You have to have an agreement. At least for the sake of your lives. I need a glass of water.
death did me wrong. If not for death, would I have gotten another wife? Would I? What is that supposed to mean? It is what it is. I'm sorry, okay? I'm so sorry. Don't ever say such a thing to me again. It hurt me. I know, I know, okay? I was just upset and I spoke out of context, okay? I've got so many guards and securities and Osman cannot come close to me or, or, or you. But Osman holds information that can be disastrous if it gets to the ears of our people. I know, I know, I know. You're right, you're right. Give him what he asked for. Done. Okay, he's going to move into the palace as my aide, effective immediately. Thank you. So you forgive me? I do. And I promise to keep a distance away from him. Okay. So we're going to get out of here now? I think the things are done. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go. Okay, so what is this request that is so important that just sits on my throne? Do I need to remind you how disrespectful it is to sit on a king's throne? Do you know that if my elders should walk in here now, I'll be in so much trouble because of you girls? You're the king of this great kingdom, Father. So fear nothing. Father, we need a throne just like this one to sit on. Girls, let's just go on with our request, which we came here for. Shopping, Dad. We want to go shopping. You girls went shopping three days ago. Three days ago, you said, Dad. We want shopping and we want to go with one vehicle and not so much escort. Yes, escort, but not some government officers or dead bodies. <laughs> Going with an escort is for your own safety, we discuss this. Besides, every king, queen, prince or princess must be chaperoned by guards all the time. Now, can I go shopping next week? No! no. It's today, Dad. I'm prepared for it already. You're not going to take no for an answer, are you? Just like your mother's. Fine. Okay, off I go. Feels really good to be royalty. Uh, no. You must be high on something to think that living here makes you royalty. How about it feels like one? What is this? Well, this is where you'll be staying for the little period of time that you'll be in this palace. Little period of time? Are you are you kidding me or something? Over there is your means of communication. Call the kitchen to bring you food. And call for dry cleaning, toiletries, any other services. And I hope it has a number that connects directly to you in case I need a massage or something here. Your tailor is going to come in to take measurements and make you royalty clothes that will match your position in this palace. You know, you... You are so kind, my love. And I miss you so. I don't you dare, okay? If you do not want your heart parted from your chest while in this palace, you stay the hell away from me. Do you get that? Oh, my, oh. 
Stop this! I said stop this! What's happening here? Your Highness. I said stop it! What's the meaning of this? Your Highness, insolent. What? But I've got it handled, okay? Don't worry. What did he do to you? Your Highness, can, can you imagine? Can you, can you imagine him? He, he walked past me. No greetings. C can you imagine that? He walked past you? Yes. Is that why you want to lynch him to death? My, what you get? I'm talking about insolence here. And you know, may, maybe we need to discuss on some disciplinary measures on, oh, for the workers in this palace. They need to learn. Oh my God, are, are you okay? He's fine. He looks really hurt. You need, we need to take him to the hospital. No. Are you okay? No. Oh my God. But he needs to be disciplined. Excuse me. Who are you? Well. You must be... Uh... Well, considering that you're not wearing the same uniform with the other maidens, see? Must be a special kind of maiden. That still doesn't answer my question. You must be the chief maid. But... I see who in a position than you, so I believe greetings should be in order. I still don't get it. I still don't know who you are. So I'll ask again. Who are you? Well, I am the king's aide. The new aide to the king. Oh. I see. Oh, well. Is there something you want? Because nobody is allowed into this kitchen except me and the maidens. Oh, rules. Well, I... I'm just trying to... I was just dropping by to you know my new environment. By the way, you're... You're pretty. I believe... Um, maybe you've not been hearing it often from reputable men with great positions. If you have uh, nothing to collect from here, please leave. I am um, yet to be informed about your presence in this palace. Well, I'm not done with my... Uh, checking out the environment. We have a new occupant in the palace. And I'm sorry that I did not pre-inform you about his arrival. But here he is. He's going to be my new aide or personal assistant. You mean your advisor, my king? Yes, advisor. I'd like you all to treat him with respect. As we all know, he's very hot tempered. Especially when dealing with insubordination, you mean, my king? Respect his position so that this palace can continue to run as smoothly. As we all know that he does. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, my king. I promise not to disappoint you. And, um, and yes, I would um, I'd like to know. Hey, come back here. I'm still talking. I'm sorry, sir. So you, what's your name? Sondu, sir. So you mean you don't have any pet name or something? No, sir. Yes, sir. So when I saw Sondu, you will come, right? Yes, sir. Good. You, what's your name? Something is seriously amiss, and I can feel it. That is not in his right senses. What made you say that? Can't you see that man was literally putting the words into his mouth? 
Yes, I noticed. And mom strangely kept quiet. I need to know who that man really is. And why the job is so important that it should be given to him. I should just read mouth to our parents and acquire from them. If only they will open up to us, since they are now too private and secretive. How will you know that? Isn't it obvious? Well, I guess you guys should go inquire from your mom while I speak to the king. Also, I'd like to speak with the youth leader. You know, I think he's the right person to discuss this issue with. Um, Your Majesty, what about the venue of the event? Don't you think it is high time you move it away from the, the palace to the community hall? Yes. Brilliant. That's a brilliant idea. And the hall is big enough to take everybody on the day. Exactly. It, it will even save us the cost and the stress of renting kind of piece for the event. Very true. Yes. Very true. Very good contribution, Ichi and Ikwe. Thank you very much. Uh, 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 Your Highness, please permit me to make suggestion uh, concerning this whole thing. I have some brilliant... If I need any contributions from you, I would let you know. Huh? You heard him. The king said permission denied, so sit down. Uh, but king, I need a contribution from you. I will let you know. That's all. Simple. So sit down. Hmm? As we're saying, don't want just. So let's make provisions for give or take five thousand people. Uh, that would be wonderful. Five thousand. Get your filthy hands off me. I want you to warn that little boy sitting on the throne, answering king that I cannot be messed with. Who are you calling a boy? The king, of course. Your husband. Is he not a boy? Now, if you allow men like us have a say in matters concerning the kingdom. You're a man? Yes. And do you know the difference between me and that boy you call husband? I told for everything I have now and in the past of which you know about. I survived the street. But tell me one thing that he has that wasn't given to him by his late father, the king. What? Can you stop this unnecessary comparison and tell me exactly why you brought me here? Like I said, he should stop shutting me out on the matters concerning the kingdom. I cannot function properly as his aid if he doesn't allow me to have a say in the council of elders. And I hate being treated as a minor. So warn him. You heard what I said, warn him. Bodyguard. Or better said, an aide? Well, it's quite unfortunate. But Edwin, I am so disappointed in you. Why? Oh, did you just ask me why? Yes. I thought you said you're a close ally to the king. You even bragged about it. I can see how close you are to him. Well, I really don't know how it all happened. I, I mean, it surprised me. But one thing I am very sure is that I am still very, very close to the Igwe. Give yourself assurance. Keep assuring and consoling yourself. Uh, but is that why you will not give me a chance? A chance? Oh, yes. I don't want to hear that this happens again. You both are guards. You shouldn't be having squabbles inside the palace. Princess, I'm sorry. I'd like to have a word with my father. Yes, my princess. What is this? Has Caleb come for rehearsals or is there some other excuse now? Who's Caleb? Sorry, Sabinus. Father, what is wrong with you? 
nothing, I'm fine. But you look disturbed, and you've been looking like this for a week now. <laughs> what is it? It's probably just the stress of the palace, alright? I'm fine. You did not just become the king yesterday. And I know when my father is unhappy or disturbed. And I've come to know the problem, so we can seek a solution to it together. I may offer a couple of advice. Sweetheart, I'm fine, alright? I can assure you of that, I'm alright. But you know I don't believe you. <laughs> and that man that's leaving with us now, why does he interrupt you in everything you say? He's just getting to know me and the palace, okay? And... And what, father? What? Nothing. You're not becoming secretive. That's cool. Very cool. Wait, sweetheart, honey. Carol. Okay. I'm here now. You sent for me. Who is that new man, Mom? Who is he? I believe you heard your father introduce him as his new aide. You don't like him. Why, sweetie? Did he attack you or something? We just don't like him. We want him out of the palace. You know that's impossible. Considering the fact that it was your father's idea to bring him into the palace. Which is why you need to open up to us, Mom. Are you and Dad in some kind of danger or what? No, honey, we're not. Listen, you girls need to stop worrying your little heads about me and your father. Our relationship as a husband and wife is rock solid, okay? Now, whose idea was it coming to me with this discussion? Just the two of you? Okay. Okay. We're fine, okay? Come here, honey. We're good. Your father and I are good. I don't want to talk about him. Edward, I know how difficult it is having him in this palace. But you can show it by not allowing him perform his duty. His duty is that of a cockroach and I hate him. I hate him too, but what choice do we have? I have a choice of doing away with him. But you don't share the sentiment. It makes it even harder for me to accept the fact that he's here. I know, but we have a secret to protect. And so we need to start acting normal because the kids are beginning to ask questions. Disturbing questions. You're right. I mean, Kara came to me today and I couldn't even tell her the truth. They're already disappointed in us. I mean, Osman needs to leave her family. He needs to go far away from here as soon as possible. Please, patience, okay? Be patient. Let's give him time. Let's bear with him and carry him along for now. Okay? Please. Okay. What are you doing here? Very greeting manners. We don't want you here, and I command you to leave. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Sorry, you um, uh, <coughs> I'm here to eat, okay? Hey, you don't have a seat in this dining, so leave! Apologies, my princess, it's but my position in the palace qualifies me a seat. And that's why I'm here. I'll serve him no food. I'll take no insolence from anybody. Hi, are you happy now? Can you imagine the kids? 
I mean, um, I, I think since they've lost their appetite, I think you should join me so that you don't want to eat. Oh, thanks. But no thanks. In fact, you can have it alone. Thank you. Ask for me. Would you? I would have been fine with you though, but... I met with your doctor today. Why did you lie to me? I am sorry. You are sorry? How could you lie with such a thing? How? I can't believe I've not slept for two days now thinking of how I'm going to table this to my parents. I... I want you to marry me. I love everything about you. Your intelligence, your soft, sweet voice, and above all, your maturity. Is that enough for you to lie to me? You almost ruined me thinking of how I'm going to survive this campus with a girlfriend that's already pregnant for me. Your girl should not get pregnant in campus. I didn't send for my aide during rehearsals now, did I? I know he says I can't join in the fun. Why don't you wait for me somewhere else? Uh, wherever the king goes, his aid is expected to be with him. Can we continue, please? Continue with what? He either leaves or I'm out. Kara, wait, Kara. Kara. Gina. You wrote this, right? I will need you to write me in. Okay, I want to be part of it. Do you hear me? Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah, well, I did some digging. And what did you find? I found, um, I found out that the man is a friend to the Queen's brother. You mean Martins? Yes. And I also gathered that they're not in a good time right now. That is why it's a little bit odd for Martin to allow him to stay here. You're right. I've always known that there's nothing genuine about that man. Well, my love, if you want me to get rid of him, I will do it for you. Just give the order and consider it done. Oh, well. He's been making passes at me lately. <laughs> then consider him handled. What are you going to do to him? I can't wait to leave this palace and explore the world. Until our father meets up with our demand, we're going to go far away that he can't locate us. I support that. How are we going to leave the palace without the guards stopping us? That's why we're gonna let our parents know that we're leaving the palace. Unless you're willing to meet up to our demands. Let me go get the bag. Please have mercy on him. My king, I, I am very sorry. I'm sorry, my king. I'm so disappointed in you, Edward. What came over you? Hmm? What? I, and don't say it's a demon, because I wonder what kind of demon would tell a man to stab another man to death. Especially when that man is, is the king's aid. Me! My king, I, I, I'm very sorry. I, I, I'm out of jealousy. I'm very sorry. Oh, you're jealous of my position. 
Is that it? Oh, King, I think it's high time you bought me a rifle so that I can reduce my enemies to three. Enough. Before I hand you over to the authorities, I'm going to have you flogged. Uh, um, my king, please permit me to be the one that does the flogging. Uh, because I, I, I think these are his friends and they might tend to take it lightly with him. I have a disciplinarian who does that. So no. My king. Take him up. There's a palace for the DJ. What? Sorry, my princess, you can't leave without the king's order. I'm the princess of this palace, and my word is authority. So is the rest of my sisters here. And we're asking you to move yourselves out far away. Sorry, my princess, but we can't. Please try and understand our position on this. We're so gonna deal with you if you don't allow us to pass. You better let us out now, or tell our parents you try kidnapping us. Please don't let us do this. Please. What's going on here? Oh, oh. thank God you're here. My thank God you're here. They wanted to leave, but it's against the king's order. My princess, what's going on? Can't you say we're leaving? Or do I need to spell things out for you? Leaving? I'm sorry, my princess, but you can't leave without the king's order. Does he even know you girls are leaving the palace? He doesn't! Oh, my princess. We're leaving this palace and that's final. So you're the one who put my kids up to this. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, be nice. Stop it, both of you. What is wrong with you girls? Hmm? You want to know what is wrong with us? What kind of seeing you and mom living a lie? Living a lie? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, Mom. What is it that you and Dad are hiding that you now talk behind closed doors? You used to share everything with us, but now you no longer do so. What is the problem? There's so much we no one could know about you people. For example, the man that came here to work as your aide. We don't know him or anything about him. We don't even know why he came here, controlling everybody around him. We're tired. We need a break from this palace. And wanting to leave the palace without telling me is the wise thing to do. I don't know what answers you three seek from your mother and I. But I'll tell you for the umpteenth time, we are not hiding anything from you. So stop being childish and stop trying to leave this castle. That's final. Carol. Good evening. Leave us alone, Mom. Please, just let me explain, okay? What else do you have to say to us that Dad hasn't said to us? The people are not happy with your father. They are not happy with the way he spends money each year commemorating his late wife with a huge ceremony. Are you saying Dad has been spending the people's money? No. He's not been spending the people's money, but he's the king. And sometimes he has to adhere to the people's dictates. Listen, sweetie, the pressure is on him to cancel the ceremony. And I'm afraid that he's going to give in to their demands. 
Kara is not going to be happy about this. I know, and that's why I don't want to tell her. What? Why didn't you tell us this before now? I'm sorry. But listen, Kara doesn't have to know about it. I don't have to tell her and neither do you. Okay? And who is that man living in our house? I don't like him. Oh, um... He's a man that our people sent to make sure that your father doesn't go ahead with the ceremony. Why? I'm sorry, my princess. You failed me! I know, and I'm sorry. You couldn't do the simple thing I asked of you. I'm trying my best. But so far, I've got nothing, my princess. I even wanted to leave the palace. But you went ahead and told my dad about it. Why are we still having this conversation? Because I had the king telling his wife how he wants that man dead. Are you saying my dad wants that new man dead? Yes. Why? I don't know yet. That is why I haven't reached out to you, my princess. But why leave the palace when you can stay and unravel the truth of who that man really is? Hi. Get out of my sight. And why would I do that? I mean, you don't deserve to be alone, especially after losing your boyfriend. I don't know what you're talking about. Think I was dumb not to notice the love in your eyes? By the way, were you the one who sent him to kill me? Please. Get out of my sight. Oh, come on, G. I know how heartbreaking it can be, especially the fact that he didn't succeed. See, I am a cat with nine lives. And you, you're fine. You're beautiful. We can really be good friends in this palace. Who told you my name? Come on, I am the king's aide. I get whatever I want, including information any information well mr information minister how about you give me the information of who you really are and what you are doing in this palace maybe just maybe i will consider your friendship proposal but until then stay away from me You come back to me. What are you doing? How dare you? You may want to reduce your voice before the king, your husband, hears us. Oh, so you know my husband, the king, is around and you have the guts to be in his bed? If my husband walks in here right now and finds you, the deal is off. Because what he will do is kill you. But you won't let him. At least not yet. You know what I mean? Osmond, the only reason you're alive is because I didn't support my husband in his option of killing you. Exactly what I'm talking about. You are wise and you know me better. I mean, that's why you couldn't bring yourself to agree with him. Leave. You are shutting me out. First it was your husband and now you. I am a ticking time bomb. I hope you know that. You are shutting me out. You are shutting me out and I don't like it. I am not here to put on some annoying local regalias. You know exactly why I am here. And I don't need to remind you of the consequences. Leave me the hell alone, Osmond. Tick. Talk. Tick. Talk. Tick.
by Cream. Why are you still awake? I can't sleep. Why can't you sleep, babe? I'm worried about the fate of your throne. We don't have an heir to succeed to the throne. What? I have heiresses? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Our people would never accept to crown a woman a king of this land. Is that really what's bothering you? Oh, you think that's not enough to lose sleep over? Edward, we're not getting any younger. We're an inch closer to senescence. And I don't understand why God hasn't granted me a male child just yet. Well, to be fair, it does bother me, okay? But Osmond is still in this palace, and I can't stop dreaming about killing that bastard. Osmond is not our problem. Osmond is not our problem? No. Our kids are not friends with us anymore because of him and you say he's not a problem. Osmond made a demand and we gave him what he wanted. That takes care of the problem. Having a male child for you is what I'm focusing on right now. Don't come, okay? But you need to get some sleep. Since our people no longer support the event, why don't we stop the rehearsal? Never. Never. Do you hear me? See, my king, don't do something you will regret in the future. Just because the I... drama will hold as planned. I owe it to my late wife. I must tell the story of how I met my late wife to the people. Okay? Is that so important to you? Yes, Sabinus. Yes, it is. I owe it to my late wife and I owe it to every young man out there who suffered several heartbreaks in a world where love has been auctioned to the highest bidder. Um, calm down. Calm down, uh, Your Highness. So, um, why don't we throw a, a low-key event? Something low-key will not attract attention and agitations. What do you think? That's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. You know, Sabinus, I have to take uh, Mickey and my special advisor on certain matters into serious consideration. You're a wise man. You're wise. <laughs> Thank you so much. My king, thank you. I'm always delighted. What can you go? Yes. Uh... Uh, so, what did I miss? What did the king's eat miss? I'll take my leave, Your Highness. You're welcome. Um, your highness, I... Let's tell her. Never. It's gonna break her heart if she finds out we already knew. She's not gonna find out except to tell her. I just feel sorry for her. I mean, the ceremony was supposed to remind her of her mom. And also to give her hope that her mother is at peace wherever she is. Trust me, she's not gonna be happy. We need to tell dad about this. Did you hear what father said? His hands are tied to the will of the people. So much for being the king. He can't even be in control. Father is called to serve his people, not to give orders in everything. Let's just keep this away from Carab until dad decides to break it to her. What are you guys discussing about? We're just waiting for a drama teacher. Okay, then let me go get my food. Lucy, I never knew you could lie so convincingly. Hi. How dare you come in without a knock? 
zwei Bad. Hi. That's a very disrespectful way to greet a princess. Apologies, my princess. Greetings. You sent for me. Yes, I sent for you. What do you want? I don't understand. I mean, what can I give you in return for my question? <laughs> what can you possibly give me, my child? I'm not your child. Again, apologies. Uh, but what can you possibly offer me when you know I have a colossal throat for good things? I mean, big things. How big is it? Very big. I mean, there is nothing you can offer me that will make me talk. Try me. I can pull some strings and things will stop happening if you wish. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. Find me bold and brilliant. What's your question? Who are you? I mean, aside from being my dad's aide, I want to know who you really are. Wow. That is a very big one. And you don't expect me to just answer the question without a prize, do you? Just say it and consider it done. <laughs> you, you're funny. But fine. Can you give me the chief maid? Because I kind of like her. I bet I know you can't. You can. Done. Consider it done. You're serious. I am your uncle, your late mother's brother. My uncle. Maybe we should take a vacation. Yeah. I was considering going to either Hawaii or Bahamas. What do you think? Hawaii? I thought we were going to Canada. Besides, the kids are looking forward to it, and you know it's long overdue. I know, but I changed my mind about Canada. I want us to go somewhere where we can have so much fun. <laughs> okay, I'll call my friend and embassy to sort out the visa. Okay. When are you looking to travel now? Mm, perhaps after the commemorating ceremony. Well, that's if we actually get to do it. Of course, why not? But, low-key. Okay. Come! My princess. What is it? Hey honey, what is it? Why don't you tell me your new aide is my uncle? Your uncle? Where did you get that from? I remember I locked it after entering, so how did you enter? Can we just discuss that another time, okay? Oh, by the way, you have a... Uh, Sir, what do you want? Well, I, <clears throat> I kind of reconsidered the offer. Which offer? You know, the one about me telling you who I am, and then in turn, you give me the access to all of this. Who are you? 
You see, we've not really had an understanding yet. We, you know, the offer need to reaffirm her promise to me, the offeree, before I spill the beans. Well, I am not interested. You see, that there makes this hard. Very hard. Ask for something else. I will oblige you. But I will not give you my body. <laughs> That's the problem. What are you even keeping it for? Who? The guy that made a tent on my life? He's already dead. Oh, okay. You're hoping that he will, he's going to come back to this palace for you. It is <laughs> he's dead. Get out of my room. Yes. Okay, how about a kiss? Just a kiss and I'll tell you who I am. <laughs> that look is what I was expecting. You can't say no, can you? <laughs> Get out! Get out! Go! 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 Oh, come on! I go! Go! Push me! Get out! Get out! It's like a virus. I'll give it to you. You always look beautiful each time you find me. What the hell did you tell Kara? Oh, she already attacked you and your husband. <laughs> what a tiger she is. She's bold and beautiful, and I like her. Only she's not your daughter. Answer me, Osmond. I told her the truth. The truth? Well, I told her what she needs to hear. Do you know what you have caused by telling her that nonsense? She now sees me and the king as liars who deceived her. Well, that's quite unfortunate. Osmond, do not make me regret having you move in here. It's not like you had a choice. And you can't help but miss me. Hey! Don't you dare touch me. Don't.
There's a palace confusion. I'm burning. I'm a vulture. I'm burning. There's a royal confusion. I'm burning. I'm a vulture. I'm burning. So what's the trick? I'm burning. I'm a vulture. I'm burning. So much to see. I'm burning. I'm a vulture. Come on, who will build the cross? Who will win the sword? For the land is ruled. Who will rule the world? My princess, there's something I have to tell I you. I already know. I, I don't think you. He told me he's my mother's brother. Then the, I should... Forgive me, my princess, but I think I. Do you know what? Just forget about him. No one knows the kind of father I have. And I will never forgive him for hiding such a thing from me. No, my princess. Please, I just need to be left alone. I have an assignment for you. In fact, you will be promoted to King's servant of the palace effectively. Oh my goodness. Is this a joke? You are to move your things in this palace immediately. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> I'm so happy, my king. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, ooh. Sit down. You alright? You alright? So, my assignment. Mm -hmm. You know the man that I employed as my aide in his palace? Yes, you know Yes. You. What did you tell Princess Kyle? Wow. I think I like kissing more than any other thing. How dare you! Look, the next time you try that again, I'll be forced to report you to the king. What's wrong with you? The king? Oh, you wait until I tell the king my intentions towards you. Oh, do you prefer public proposal or private one? Why? Why did you tell Princess Kara a different thing from what you told me? Why did you lie to her? Hmm. I forgot that you have been long enough in this palace to know how it is built. My bad. I'll be taking a trip to Abuja in two days. And as thus, my office will not be available till I get back. Yeah, a trip? That, that sounds like fun to me. Oh. I won't be needing you around the palace since I return. Oh, hold on. Are you saying that I should follow you to Abuja or what? What I'm saying is that I need you to find somebody to stay and stay with you. Uh, your head is that uh, that's not how things are done. I mean, that's unfair. When a king is going on a vacation, uh, he, his uh, personal advisor takes over the royal regent pending when the king returns. I believe that I've made my point clear. Well, your point is not okay with me, so I just need you to think for a while about it and let me just uh, answer the call of nature. <laughs> Chama, baby. <laughs> Sweet Chama. Chama, this is fabulous. Do I need to remind you that this is a palace kitchen? And only the maidens and I are allowed to, uh, enter. to enter. I know that. I came to, I came to break this good news to you. Good news. Yes. What good news? <laughs> da la 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 la. Tam. 
<laughs> the king has just approved of me living in this palace. What? Yes. Keep jumping. I don't understand. Approved? The king approved? Why? What yes. would you be possibly doing in this palace? Ah. Have you <laughs> forgotten the services I rendered to the king? The drama? Have you forgotten the drama? You know? Oh, is it because of the drama that you've been living in this palace? Or you're going to leave after the commemoration ceremony? Shum, I don't understand you. Why are you sending like this? Are you not supposed to be happy with me? This is a dream come true. Yes. Yes. I've always wanted you to come to my house. You refused. Now I brought my house to you. <laughs> Isn't it lost to win? Yes, yes it lost to win. And I'm happy for you. <laughs> Excuse me. No, Mom, I prefer Dubai. The Bahamas is all right. Well, my initial preference was Canada, and then I had a change of mind to Hawaii or Bahamas. Bahamas is okay by me. Are we ever going to Dubai? Um, I think this is a bad time to come in. No, 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 no. Stay, please. Come here. I was actually just discussing um, with your sisters concerning our yearly vacations as your father requested. Sister Kara, I was suggesting we go to Dubai, but nobody's with me. And I told her Bahama is bay. So what's your take, Kara? I know it's okay by me, even though I'm not in the mood to go anywhere. Why not? Come here. Listen, I know that you and I have not been in good terms as a stepmom and daughter. But I want you to know that I really do care about you and your feelings. So please, feel free to make your choice. Because I honestly want you to participate. Well, I'll go with Gina. Bahama sounds like a good idea. I'm sorry for my introduction. <coughs> what are you doing here? I came to inform you about your father's latest decision, which is asking Sabinus to live in this palace now. Hold on. Are you saying our drama teacher will be living here with us? Yes, my princess. And yet again, there is something I wanted to tell you about Osmond the last time we were. Um, there's something I was supposed to tell you about him too. Please sit. I kind of made an agreement with him about you. An agreement? What kind of agreement? Uh, I actually promised him of having you if you answer my question in which he did so my own turn to fulfill my own part of the bargain you understood me right i am still lost my princess what exactly are you talking about he said he likes you and i should help him connect you to him so he'll marry you i made him that promise and please find what way. My princess, I gave you my word.